Hey guys, let's do it. Lesson check 10-3 says each statement for A is true. Let's, let's find out. They tell us these are equal. So in our theorem 10-3 today, it's stated if they tell us these are equal, then we know these angles are equal, right? So let's see if we can find that. Yeah, that's, that's where these angles are, but is that the location? So this says L-A-K, M-A-J. So those, those angles are not equal. You can see that they're not vertical. So I'm gonna count that as a no. The next angle they ask us to look at is J-K-L-A-M-L-A. J-K-A-M-L-A. So they want us to look at these angles. Well, I think we, we proved today, right, that these two triangles are congruent for a number of reasons. Mostly because all radii are equal, right? So these are all radii, so they're all equal. So you can see, we, I think we proved, um, we can see here just in the picture because all three sides are congruent, we can say that um, these angles, all these angles, this one, this one, this one, this one, all those angles are congruent. So I'm gonna say yes. Now let's look, it says, is KA congruent to MA? KA, MA, yes, because all radii are equal. Question number two, select all that are true. So if they tell us that DE, bam, is congruent to FG, okay, so that's our, that's our theorem we went over today, right? That means that this is equal to this, um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that that smaller triangle is equal to them. So we also know this whole triangle is equal to this whole triangle. So in that same way, these all these radii are equal, and this angle, these angles would be equal to one another, all right? So let's identify what they are asking. DE is equal to FG, that we know. That's kind of just a restatement here of what they gave us. EF, small segment. QD, a longer segment. So I'm gonna say no there. What about triangle DQE being congruent to FQE? So those are different triangles. That looks like this angle is actually different. They have two sides that are the same, but definitely different angles. So say no. Triangle FQE, so our little triangle, is that congruent to this triangle on the right? So again, no for the same reason. And our last one is angle DQE congruent to GQF. Yes, we put one arc mark on that, and so we're gonna say yes. Nice. Question number three. It says, given TU is 7.4. So both theorem 10.5 and 10.6 come into play here. maybe even 10-7, we see that um, this setup on the left is exactly like the setup on the right. So those are the same, and so their measurements have to be the same. So PR has to equal TU, so they all are equal to 7.4. Naren theorem, um, I could even list 10-7 here. We know that with this setup, this would have to be bisected, meaning this was cut into equal pieces, this was cut into equal pieces. So because they're asking for PS, half of that piece, we're just gonna cut that in half. 
So I get 3.7. Nice. All right, question number four. It says in, chord Z, in circle Z, chord J, K, and L, M are congruent. So this one looks very consistent to our theorem five. So I'm just going to redraw that picture from our notes just to jog our memory. As it says in circle Z, chord J, K, all right, J, K. and chord LM are congruent, meaning equal in length. So those are equal lengths, which must be equivalent to the distance from the length JK to point Z. So as we trace back to Z, we learned from our theorem and its converse that this would be a set distance. And if this is exactly the same length as well, this would be this same set distance, all right? So it's not a radius, it's, it's a distance from a length that is a set chord length, all right? And so we can say, what matches our picture? Well, this distance here matches this distance. So we're looking for that. So we're looking for the distance from LM back to the distance from LM back to point Z, definitely like my choice B. Question number four. Oh, it looks like I already picked in. Okay, let's 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 make sure here. All right, it said given circle N, okay, given circle N with a chord A B, okay, with a chord A B. Which point lies on the perpendicular bisector of that? Okay, so cut that in half, add a 90 degree angle, notice point in lands on there, our center. So yeah, so that's why we picked in. Looks like I must have done this question already. That's it, guys. Nice work.